the Caucasus Mountains have some of the most breathtaking views found anywhere. But this beautiful panorama is hiding the painful reality that a bloody civil war is raging here. A war that knows no limits. Two sides shooting at each other indiscriminately, with innocent civilians caught in the crossfire. In 1994, a civil war broke out between Chechnya and Russia, leaving indelible scars on both people and property. Thousands fled the fighting to become refugees in their own land, among them the Jews of Chechnya. And like in other places where Jews are in danger, here too, a rescue mission of Jewish agency emissaries came to help those in need of assistance to reach safety. This area is where we are looking for the refugees who we know are in the worst condition. Most of the buildings in Grozny still bear witness to the battles that took place here and homeless children still wander the streets begging for money for food. The most logical place to look for Jews is in the synagogue. But Grozny's lies abandoned and in ruins with no sign that Jewish life once thrived here. The mission continues its search led by Chaim Chesler, head of the Jewish Agency delegation in the former Soviet Union, determined to have a close-up look at the Jewish Agency's efforts to rescue Jews from Grozny. An aging hospital with very limited facilities. The wards are filled with wounded soldiers. And next door, an old Jewish woman, recovering from her physical wounds, but still in a state of shock. The search continues and no site is overlooked. The train station is now a way station for all those trying to flee from Chechnya. Soldiers alongside refugees. one carrying the few possessions that somehow survived the destruction. And now, this is all that is left. What does it mean to be a Jaffe Emissary? Jaffe Emissary is to be at the right moment, at the right place, and to give the right answer. The right answer is to be in Israel. And the right place is wherever the Jews are suffering, to give them alternative. And we are everywhere, including this place, to offer the Tichenian Jews the alternative to be in their homeland in Israel. The Jewish refugees have been brought to a hotel, set up as a transit camp by the Jewish agency in the city of Piatigorsk, not far from Grozny. Here they can recover from the physical and psychological wounds and prepare for immigration to Israel. With tears in their eyes, they watch the continuing strife on television, thinking how fortunate they were to get out. This woman, who just arrived at the transit camp, tells about her world that was destroyed. She is the last refugee to get out of the war zone. While the refugees are here, they have a chance to learn some Hebrew and about Israel, which will become their new home in a few days. Here, all of their needs are taken care of. Food, shelter, education and medicine. For some of these Jewish refugees, this Passover Seder is the first they have ever celebrated. For others, it is the last they will mark in their native land. For all of them, it is the Festival of Freedom. The momentous morning arrives. In another few hours, this last group of Chechen Jews will arrive in a new country with a new language and a new life. They all wonder what it's like in Israel and what lies ahead for them. Four hours.
hours later at Ben Gurion Airport, the old woman from the hospital takes her first step in her new country, along with tens of other refugees. They are home at last.